there was a shooting at a mall in Alabama where two people were shot, right? I think one died and, and one was severely injured. And the police came in and then they, um, they said that they shot the gunman before anyone else could, could get hurt, right? Um, at least that was, that was the first report that came out. And then this, this is what came out afterwards. Police in Alabama admit they made a mistake after officers shot and killed a man they thought opened fire at a mall on Black Friday. Police killed 21-year-old Amantic Fitzgerald Bradford after they say he was seen fleeing the scene and brandishing a weapon. But now police in Hoover say they may have killed the wrong person and the shooter may still be at large. His father, Romantic Bradford Sr., is a police officer himself. I know my son always respected the police. And if you gave a command when you came around that corner, say freeze, drop your weapon, he'd comply with your order. So the question I ask myself is like, how does this shit keep happening, All right? Cops are called into a situation, they see a black person, and then immediately they shoot, All right? That's what they did here. They just, they ran in, they shot the guy, and then they were like, we got him. And what's wild about the story for me is, even if we work within a world where the police truly believe he was the shooter, how many times have we seen a shooter who is white and a man get talked down? You know what I mean? Like the shooting that happened in Aurora, the Batman movie, guy went in with an arsenal. I mean, he didn't just have one gun. The police talked him down. They didn't kill him, All right? The shooting in Charleston, kid who went into the church, shot the congregation of black people. The police talked him down. They didn't, they didn't kill him. In fact, a lot of the killers who did die killed themselves when you look at American mass shootings, right? You look at um, Vegas, the person shot themselves. You look at um, Thousand Oaks, the person killed themselves. But in every, like, there's so many instances where we've seen the police talk the person up, but then when it's a black guy, they go like, black guy, mass shooter, shoot immediately, ask questions later. And, and there were so many things that bugged me about the story, because, it, like, it, by the looks of it, it sounds like this guy was a good guy with a gun. That's what, like, they always say, right? The good guy with a gun stops the crime. But then if the good guy with a gun happens to be a black good guy with a gun, they don't get any of the benefits. And what blows my mind is that there's no profiling. Police profile all the time. Driving through New York, they'd be like, you, black guy, search you. You, you look like you're selling drugs, you. But then in the mall, why don't they go, why don't they do mass, why don't they do profiling there? Black guy, probably not you. Skinny white guy with a trench coat, get against the wall. <laughs> and what was crazy about the story is that you read it and you find out that multiple people had guns out because it's Alabama. A lot of people heard gunshots, they pulled out their guns, but then the only person who's shot by the police is a black guy? And then afterwards, they're like, yeah, we, we made a mistake. And what was funny was the initial statement was, we got the guy, we're proud. We got him, the police got him. And then afterwards, when the story came out, they're like, you guys said you got him, right? They're like, no, well, we, we, didn't, we didn't get him. What happened was he was involved in a, in a police um, shooting that may have involved him. It's like, wait, you said you got the, you said you shot. They're like, no, well, we didn't shoot. There was a shooting and it happened to involve us as police. At this point, you come to, you, like, you, you start to realize that really the Second Amendment is not intended for black people. It's an uncomfortable thing to say, but it's the truth. Like, people will be like, the, the right to bear arms. Yes, the right to bear arms if you are not a black man. If you're a black man, you have no business bearing arms at all. This is not the first time this happened. There was that uniformed uh, security guard about a month and a half ago. Same thing happened. He was stopping a criminal. The police showed up and shot him. He's in uniform. What, what else do you want the black person? Because, yeah, you can be like, oh, maybe they did. But this guy was in uniform. So, so they've shown... You know what I mean? Like, it's gonna get to the point where black cops should warn their partners before they go into a crime scene. I should be like, hey, Dave, it's me. <laughs> when we get in there, it's me, all right? I want, look at me. I'm the guy with the gun. I, I'm your partner. He's like, cool, I got it, I got it. All right, let's get in there. Gun! No, 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 it's me! <laughs> Thank God they didn't have a black mall Santa, because I always say that. I go, like, they should have more black mall. They would have shot that guy if there was a black Santa in that mall. They would have been like, and that guy's kidnapping white babies. <laughs> Shit has gotten so crazy in America. I bet, like, even superheroes, like, Black Panther, the next one, he's not gonna do anything in America. <laughs> The next Black Panther, they're gonna be like, T'Challa, are you helping America? He'll be like, ah, I've seen what happens <laughs> on CNN. I think, uh, where's Ant-Man? Maybe he can help them. <laughs> if you're black and you're a man in America, gun rights are not for you. If you're a black person in America, gun rights are not for you. It's as simple as that. In fact, the safest way to sell a black person a gun in America, they should say, is when you buy a gun, you should buy a white person with it, <laughs> and they hold the gun for you. 
Yeah. You should be like, what would you like? I'd like a Glock and a Craig. That's what I would like, please. <laughs> and you're like, all right, Craig, you roll with the Glock. And then whenever you want to shoot, if you do get in trouble, you'd be like, what did you say? I'm gonna shoot you, Craig. Do the thing. Do the thing, Craig. <laughs> I'm not touching that gun, because I know how it's gonna end. Some bullshit, but it's the truth. Second Amendment was not made for black folks.